going on y'all welcome back to the channel this your boy g so creative back with another video um doing something a little different today i want to talk a little bit more about my truck um so i did a few upgrades to this truck um one massive upgrade on the inside but we'll get on that inside in a little bit uh, when i first bought this truck um it was complete bone stock so um i say like a month after i bought it i went ahead and bought the tires and rims uh, went on ahead and put the lift kit on, went on ahead and tinted the window. So I, I pretty much did everything within a month's time after I bought the truck. So it didn't really take me long to fix this truck up. Um, what did take me a while to do was um, the inside. And I don't got any custom material done to it, but what I, the setup that I did to the inside, it took me a little while to do. You know what I'm saying? I had to do a little work with the tires fitting on, because I'm 35s. Well, I know 35 scrub, but um, what I did to get these 35s to fit, I put... I had to cut that fender well a little bit right there. I uh, did a little small narcal in the back. So I don't have any problems. I went and got a good lineman on this thing. And my tires, I had these tires now for about a year. So I, I don't see no sign of wear on them right now. Uh, went down there to my boy Buchanan's down here in Greenville. He got the best alignment seen around, you know what I'm saying? He got me lined up. Somebody hit my fender right here. So I got a new fender in the bay that I'm finna put on here. Um, we got the tow mirrors. The light bar, we got the roof rack, we got the chrome up there, got chrome on the door panels, uh, like I said, got the tow mirrors right there. Um, I do got rock lights on here, I don't know if you can see them, do got the rock lights on there, I installed them myself. Um, you want to get your set of rock lights, um, you can get them off Amazon, or if you're close to a Walmart, Walmart actually sell um, rock lights. Now the 5035s on here, I did have a little trouble, so I had to do a lot of modification um and getting these 35s on these 22s in order for them to fit as you can see i got a little kind of a little negative offset in the back if you're gonna get some spaces get rough country you know what i'm saying rough country and um doing the best spaces to go with um i didn't have to do no cutting in the back matter of fact it's actually sitting stock so if you got a yukon if you got a lifted yukon or even if it ain't lifted if it's an xl or if it's a short body you can go with the same setup with some 35s but your rims gonna have to have some kind of little offset to them. If you can see these rims, they do have an offset to them, so the rims actually push out a little bit. Now I don't know how it would work on, uh, you know, rims that would be setting a little further on the inside. Sooner or later, I'm probably gonna sell these rims and get me some more rims. I better yet, hell, go ahead and subscribe because later on down the line, I might just give them away to a lucky subscriber. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. To be into the windy rims because I probably will give them away once I go buy me some new ones because I don't like rims sitting around. So, you know, if somebody got a truck and they need some, I just basically probably just give it to them instead of selling them. But anyway, I got the tow mirrors on here. Uh, like I said, I got the uh, LED light bar. I did buy that light bar from a friend guy offline. Real good curve light bars. I was going to buy a brand new set of them, but um, them came across a lot quicker than. The order time of me buying some, and I wanted something like right then, so I just went ahead and bought them. But I probably still end up buying me some more light bar um, pods or something. Uh, the engine on this bad boy clean. I keep my engines clean. I don't play around. As a matter of fact, um, sooner or later I'm gonna show y'all my car collection because I do have a quite large car collection. Uh, not many cars. I got about six. But now, now it's time to get to the inside. I don't think y'all ready for the inside. Bro, I'm trying to think. Shall I show y'all the inside? Okay, okay. I'm going to let y'all see the inside. Now, I know what y'all think. I done seen the truck before. I done seen the inside already. But listen, I did something to the inside that made this thing look even more better. Here we go. It's time to do the final reveal. Let's go. Three, two, one. Hey, y'all, here we go. Yes, I did it. I told y'all I was gonna go ahead and put that Xbox in here, bro. I told y'all y'all didn't believe me, man. But I had to make y'all a believer on what I told y'all what I was gonna do. We got the gaming lights up in here. Um, you can sit five people in here and play the game if you want to. Um, I got Hulu, Netflix, I got Fire Stick, YouTube, Lifetime, CNN, whatever you want to watch, man. We got uh Fire Stick right there in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Fire Stick in the back right there. But um, yeah, you can play any game. Uh, got Grand, got Grand Theft Auto in there right now. Now, actually, we got Warzone in there. 
That's Warzone. Got Fortnite, YouTube. Um, man, it, it got all kind of stuff. It took me a while to build us. Um, to come up with a blueprint first, and then I had to send my patent off because they say that this was already done somewhere back in the days, but not the setup. So, of course, I know people had big TVs in their um, trucks probably back in the days, but for this unique setup, I had to get a patent for it. Um, so I do got a patent pending on it because I had to actually, what you see right here is an actual entertainment system. It's a micro entertainment system that I built. Um, you don't see nothing hanging from the top. Everything is clean, flush, hanging off a mount. So you can get in here, you got room. I'm eventually going to put a bar in the center. Um, that way you can put your drinks and your wine and stuff like that. Um, the move lights up here, they change colors as well, just like the rock lights. So if I want to just change the, the light pattern up, I can change the light pattern up. Uh, but normally when we gaming, I like to have like a dark tone when we gaming on the go. So my son, he liked the red, and uh, you know he liked the blue as well. But sometimes we can't have the blue on the inside because it's more of a, like a uh, police blue. So you know they kind of pull up beside us and mess with us a little bit. But they don't really just pull me over because they know I do YouTube and stuff like that. Even though I'm not a big YouTuber, but they seen the, they see the YouTube logo on the back, so they kind of know what I do. Um, but yeah, so this is what I did. Um, eventually, I'm probably going to go up to a 45 I want to put like a 45 inch screen in here and uh, possibly later on in the future I'm gonna be taking out the um, these seats right here are gonna come out and actually these two seats right here is gonna actually be remounted in the back where you see that third row seat that that third row seat won't be there then um, I'm gonna put hardwood flows in here um, let's see hardwood flows and then I'm probably gonna have this area uh, more of a, like a little bar area where you can put all your um, drinks and stuff at. And then that way I can also go bigger with the TV screen and you have more room. So like I said, that'll open up a whole new entry level on this thing on what I can do with it once I do remove these center seats and mount them up back down the third row because I, I don't ride a lot of people anyway. And uh, But yeah, so that's that. And then I'm, we're going to come on back on the outside. I'm going to give y'all a little better view around the truck. So this is a view on the outside on high look. That's how I look from the back. I'll open this up. So, um, some sometimes when we go places, I'll lift this trunk up, this front seat will let down, and we'll put the controllers right here, and then um, we have tournaments. So, and a lot of times, I also do tailgating. Now this TV has surround sound so whatever you playing on the tv or looking at it watching a movie or uh, anything listening to music everything is surround sound so that's another good thing um that i did when i fixed this thing up i had to get everything on point um but yes that's another view they go the curtains right there so these curtains were fully closed Um, also on the rock lights, I can't, I don't know if you can see it that good or not, but you see an M. I fixed the rock lights so they would come in the shape of an M for my last name. So I will be getting some LED headlights because I don't like them old antique headlights. I will be getting some more of them. Um... I will be going higher with this truck. I will get a higher lift kit because um, the rims that I'm going to put on here is 26s, uh, negative 14s, or either negative 12 Ford Giados, and uh, we'll have them on 37s. So this truck going to be monster in the future. I got a lot of more plans with this truck. Um, but right now, I'm just taking my time getting everything fixed up. Now, this right here, I did myself. I, spun, I still spent a lot of money, but I did this myself because there wasn't no way in the world that somebody could design something that I'm thinking of. So I said, let me do it myself. So, you know, again, and just to show y'all that this legit, this is legit. What's on? You see a low nut right there. So if you want smoke, if you want that smoke, y'all holler at me. 
So that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Just want to show y'all uh, what I did on the inside. And go ahead, and, if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you like the video, if you like what you see, if you want to learn how to do stuff like this, still go ahead and like and subscribe. I will give you tips and pointers on how to do this and some upcoming videos. Uh, I will be doing a lot of giveaways in the future, so you don't want to miss out on that. So go ahead and subscribe for that. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up for the day, guys and girls. Let's get it. It's your boy, Juso Creative. We're signing out.